Hello and welcome to Crosstown Auto Center. My name is Bibi and today I will be taking you around this 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk 4x4 in a brilliant black crystal pearl. Under the hood we have the 3.2 liter V6 engine coupled with a 9 speed automatic transmission. On the front we have your headlights, daytime running lights, fog lights, as well as some tow hooks. Coming down the side we are riding on 17 inch Firestone tires, still with a lot of tread left, they are in really good condition. And last but not least, if you look up, you can see that all four windows roll almost all of the way down and that your back windows are tinted for your privacy. If you follow me inside, I've got a lot more to show you. Helping you into your 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk is the remote keyless entry with a panic alarm and a one way start. To activate the remote start, all you have to do is press this button twice and your Jeep will get started for you. To turn it off, you press that button one more time and it turns right off. To unlock a Jeep, all you have to do is press the unlock button once for the driver's side door and twice for all four doors. And to lock it, you'd press that lock button once and all of your doors would be secure. For now, let's go take a look inside. As you can see, the door opens up nice and wide, gives you plenty of room to get in and out of the Jeep. On your door, you do have your power mirrors, windows, and locks. Just below that, we do have some storage and a bottle holder. Coming in, we've got your automatic lights, so you can set it and forget it. And coming over here, we've got the power adjustable driver's seat with the back lumbar support. And if we look up, we've got the full leather seats throughout with a Trailhawk stitching. And if you look up, you can see that we do have the dual panoramic sunroof. All right, bear with me now and I will get in and get it started for you. All right, on this Jeep, we have 21,902 kilometers. We've also got the thermometer in the top left corner and the compass in the top right. We've got a nice large cluster and you can actually customize it. You can pick what you see. To do that, all you have to do is use these little arrows on the left hand side of your steering wheel. You press those arrows, you can look through your screen setup, stored messages, audio. You can even have your stop and start ready. Trip information, fuel economy, vehicle information, and there's so much more. Also on the left hand side of your steering wheel, we've got your voice recognition and your Bluetooth controls. On the right hand side of your steering wheel, we've got your cruise controls. And just behind those, we've got some audio controls. So if you look towards the screen, you can see that I can turn the volume up, turn it down, and I can even change the radio station. All with the press of a button. As we're looking over here at this screen, it is the large 8.4 inch Uconnect touch screen with navigation. That Uconnect means that you can connect a phone. We also have a few controls in this Jeep. We do have the heated driver and front passenger seat, as well as the, heat, the steering wheel for the driver. You've also got your media here, so you've got your media devices that you can connect and back to the radio. Just down below that, we've got our climate controls. So you can control your climate through here or on the screen, whichever you choose. You can actually turn your screen off as well. This button here is for your automatic start and stop. You can turn that off if you please. If we go a little farther down, we've got an SD card slot, USB plug-in, auxiliary input, and a 12 volt charger. Right over here, we've got our four-wheel drive system. And we've got our parking brake. If we move over to the right, we can open up our glove box. And it is a nice large glove box with the owner's manual still inside. Back to the center, we've got two nice cup holders here. And right here, we've got our center console. And we can open that up. There's a nice large storage bin there with a USB port and another 12 volt charger. If we close this, 
we can actually open up the top part of the center console. It is a dual compartment. So there's just a nice little storage up top. And one of the last features I can show you up front, if you were to put your Jeep into reverse, it'll actually activate the backup camera. And it is a nice large screen, so that picture is crisp and clear. And last, and not but not least, of course, we've got our sunroof controls. So this is how we would open up the sunroof. So you press that button and that shade will open. And if you press it again, it'll open up all the way. So you get that full effect of that dual panoramic sunroof, which is fantastic. All right, I know I've shown you a lot up front here, but if you follow me to the back, I've still got some more I can show you. So I've gone ahead and opened up the back door for you. And as you can see, this opens up nice and wide as well. On the door, we have your power windows. Just below that, we have the bottle holder and some storage. Coming in, we've got some map pockets on the back of the seats. And we've got a power outlet just down here in the center with some air vents as well. And we've got that full leather seating followed throughout. You're in the center seat. If you pull this down, you've got two extra cup holders and an elevated armrest for your back passengers. And if you close that, you've got your third seat. Another feature about these seats, if you pull this up, and give it a nice little pull, the seat will actually fold down. And that is the 60-40 rear folding seats. And you've got access right into your trunk. Follow me around, I can show you some more. So here on your Jeep, on the back, we've got your backup camera here. We've got some a tow hook down here. And we open up your trunk right here. Press that button. There we go, we can lift it up. You can see you've got a nice large trunk space. You've even got that cargo mesh to keep your cargo safe in the back. Right here, if we lift this up, you've got that full-size spare tire. Close that up. All right, we'll close the Jeep. We've also got some roof rails on the roof here. If we open up this back door, I will show you how to fold this seat down. So it is the same as the other side. If you lift this and give it a nice little pull, it folds down. So this expands your cargo space a lot and it gives you plenty of extra room if you do need it all right well, i would just like to thank you so much for taking the time to walk around this 2015 jeep cherokee trailhawk edition with me my name is bb i'm here at crosstown auto center's used car superstore we are here on the corner of 156th street and the yellowhead trail i want to say thanks for watching and have a great day